Binge drinking is big news. But what can an ad campaign do to address such a complex problem? We were faced with a target audience of 18 to 24 year olds who were likely to resent or ignore any government messages they thought were telling them what to do. So we didn't. Instead, we aim to engage people in the conversation and get them to think about their behaviour when drinking. A single question lay at the heart of the campaign. Would you do it sober? Two TV ads showed a young man and a young woman at home getting ready for a night out, but deliberately doing things that are usually associated with being drunk. Both ads end with the question, you wouldn't start a night like this, so why end it that way? A series of press ads asked further questions about people's behaviour. Male and female radio ads followed a similar format. Would you tear your best mate's hair out because you fancy the same bloke? Would you accept a lift from a man who you've just met? Would you do it with a guy whose name you can't remember? Would you? Along with a fashion show viral, which appeared on a variety of fashion and style websites to target the more style conscious amongst our audience. On launch day, a press conference took place outside what appeared to be a fashion store in Covent Garden. Each window featured mannequins arranged to reflect scenes from the TV ads, which could be viewed in the TV sets included in each display. The windows were also Bluetooth enabled so people could download the viral. The mannequins later featured as part of an interactive display at the closed show live in the NEC. Once launched, the campaign sparked debate throughout the media. Online in the first week alone, the viral was viewed over 400,000 times, the TV ads were viewed 10,000 times, and the campaign inspired hundreds of online conversations. Just a month after the campaign launch, research showed an 89.9% recall of the campaign amongst the target audience. The binge drinking campaign was now itself big news. Here before, twelve times, I'm slimy enough.